everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone who has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father, and very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna of the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes from heaven, so that anyone who eats of it will not die. I am the living bread that comes from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Well, that's a very strong reading, isn't it? It is it true, yes, mm-hmm. Stephanie. Um, it's followed by the Jews began to dispute with him. And I think there is a lifelong dispute with yourself. What do you do as you approach the ciborium? How meaningful, um, have, how intensely have you got the sense that you are entering into the life of Jesus Christ? That, that's a big question, isn't it? Because um, so often our minds can be miles away yes. and not really yes. focused. And um, um, for me, um, you know, I, try, I do try to think as I'm going up to communion, what, what is happening now? Um, and I like that phrase, um, my, you know, I am the bread of life. You know, so it's like Jesus came to give us life and give it to us in the full. Mm. And this is one of the ways which we receive life to the full. Mm. And for me too, the companionship of of all the worship and communion around me, the strength of their belief sustains me at that moment. And and you said, I am the bread of life. John also says, uh, he was the word, and with the word, and the word was at the beginning. Mm. And I wonder if we eat the word as well as eat the bread. Like the bread is sustaining the physical mm. in our own, um, as we think back, mm. we think to the mana mm. in, in, mm. on the rocks yes. in the desert. So that bread was eaten, but the next day you could die. That bread wouldn't give you life. Mm. It wouldn't give you um, fullness of life mm. or mm. eternal life. I'm, I'm still... John says here is my flesh, but he also says here is the word. So I wonder how we eat both the yeah. flesh and the word. Remember, the Eucharist is both. That's interesting because I hadn't kind of thought about that in this context, but you're so right. Because if we really are fully attentive, those words um, are taken into our being and therefore we can meditate on them and what we what comes out of our being then needs yes. to be something of those words. Oh, yes. And they are nourishing. Yes. They will lead to eternal life. Yes. So I think, John, it's only um, a chapter or two before where he says uh, Jesus was the word. Mm. Once we come to Jesus was the flesh to be eaten, mm. well, we shouldn't forget that Jesus was the word. Mm. And also, if you want to use the eaten mm. metaphor, the words are to be eaten yes. and they will be nourishing mm. as mm. the body mm. will be nourishing. And, and when you think about ordinary food, when we eat it, it doesn't um, maintain its own structure and shape and everything. No. Thought. It actually becomes part of the, every bit of, in us. Yes. And in a way, when we... Um, receive Jesus in communion, Jesus becomes part of us and in us, and God dwells more deeply within us at yes. that moment. And, and it's very dependent on your intensity and appreciation. Yes. yes. Like yes. I sometimes sit there and you've got the little elevation, I think, mm. oh, I ponder so deeply mm. on what is happening, mm. and it won't ever be answered, but I have these huge questions, what is occurring? And sometimes I look at the carpet in the chapel. Do you know the yes, carpet in the yes, chapel? Yes. It's all little squares. Yes. If you look at it long enough, it becomes 3D and it bounces oh, up okay. and it's like a whole lot of yeah. little tiny hills. Yes, yes. And I think if you look at it long enough, you will see, see. the newness, the other. Mm. And I try to use that as a metaphor, mm. that looking at a thing long enough mm. 
will produce an insight. Because I do, I, I ponder and ponder till the point where I'm losing oxygen, you know, and I need to be recharged. Yeah. That, that's really interesting because um, the Eucharist is such an important sacrament for us, and even when we're dying, I reflect back to when my mother was dying, and um, the priest came in and we prayed with mum, and then he gave her a fraction of a host, yeah. only about as big as my little fingernail, yes. um, and put it in her mouth, and it was like, this is your final chance to have Jesus come into you in a special way before you meet him in an extra special yes. way. before eternal and, life and begins. It was, it was a very yes. sacred moment for me, yes. watching that... Um, uh, gift to her, you know, yes. and her reception yes. of yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. Um, I am flesh for your life. Mm. I'm not mm. at all surprised that the Jews found it incomprehensible. Oh, absolutely. It's a wonder yes. and a mystery that's going to take our lifetime. And that mystery we need to ponder. On. Yes, yes. I do ponder. Thank you.